This spring, I did a video on outdoor wine cap cultivation. And as you can see, we did pretty good. You cannot walk through here without stepping on wine cap mushrooms. My garden is loaded with wine cap mushrooms that I did not pick, and they've gotten pretty gross. Wine caps are probably one of the easiest to grow edible mushrooms. They taste really good, but I want to show you the gross side of outdoor mushroom cultivation, even if you pick them at the right time. We do have to throw a disclaimer in here because what I'm about to show you is downright nasty. If you're a vegan or a vegetarian, you might want to find some other video to watch. You might be able to see where I'm going with this. So to show you how gross mushrooms can be, we did a little experiment. So I picked some mushrooms and after I picked them, I put them inside a plastic container. I let the mushrooms sit in the container for three days, and after three days, all hell broke loose. What you're witnessing here is a total maggot infestation. And a couple days after that, we have maggot mushroom soup. Let's go ahead and give this a sniff test. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking after the mushrooms went into the container, they were rotting in there and some kind of fly or something came in and laid eggs on the rotting mushrooms. Now that would be ideal, but it's not the case. Even if you pick your mushrooms at the right time when they're still small, like these ones here. And while we're over here, let's look at this. We got some fairy cup mushrooms growing around the wine caps. It doesn't matter. There is some kind of bug that is laying eggs on these mushrooms. So when you go to eat these mushrooms, you're eating eggs from bugs. I'm not too bothered by this, but other people might be pretty upset knowing that. I had the same experience last year when I was doing the oyster mushrooms in the straw bale. I had some that I kept in the fridge for about four days or so. They're beautiful mushrooms, not a blemish on them. And after four days in the fridge, there were maggots crawling all over over them. But this is what we got to realize. When we grow food in our garden, there's a lot of stuff we don't see. Like even when you pick stuff like raspberries like this, I can actually see little bugs crawling on here and it doesn't bug me. No pun intended. And I don't want to stop people from growing edible mushrooms in their garden because mushrooms are healthier than we realize at this moment in time. And I mean we eat eggs from chickens, so what's the difference? Chickens, bugs, I mean, it's kind of like hot dogs. Hot dogs taste great, but we don't want to know what's in them. And even some of these older mushrooms that I didn't harvest to eat, they're not going to go to waste. I can take these mushrooms, bring them to a spot that does not have mushrooms yet, dig a hole, put them in, cover them up, and we will get more mushrooms next year. The mushrooms you see on the surface are kind of like the seeds of the mushroom. The whole plant of the mushroom extends for vast distances underground in the fungal network and that fungal network is really important for your garden. Your plants will love it. So even if you don't want to eat mushrooms anymore after watching this video, still go ahead, plant the mushrooms in your garden and you will enjoy the results. If you want bug-free mushrooms, watch my video on indoor wine cap cultivation i will link that video in the description i'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching